Hello, this is Bob again. I'm going to attempt to show you the function of your gate and how the internal bearings work. The first thing I want to mention to you is that this is a roller bearing. You see it's got little small rollers inside of it called needles or another term for this is called a needle bearing. This has, in, in your housings on your gate, you have two of these on the top and two on the bottom. And you'll see more about that later on. But this, this is to simulate a housing. If you'll notice inside there, there is a bearing in there. In this particular case, there's only one in here for this simulation. But as I said, you have two of those in each housing, a total of four needle bearings on your, on your gate. Now, what I want to show you here is the operation of this. This is your bottom shaft on the gate. And again, you'll more, know more about that later on. If you put that on there like that and you apply pressure, down, you see that it's very difficult to turn that right there, especially if you've got a lot of weight on it. As, as I'm rotating right there, I'm having had a hard time turning it. Right, then comes into play is what they call a thrust bearing. A thrust bearing assists in the rotation of the bearing, I mean of the gate. The thrust bearing goes on your first, and this is only on the bottom. You don't have it on the top. But now I can take this simulation here and put it on here, and it's very, very easy to turn. And, of course, that friction from metal to metal makes a difference. Internally, Inside this thrust bearing, there's a little bunch of little rollers. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're there. And actually, what you're doing is you're rolling on a series of balls in there, and that's what makes a thrust bearing. That that again, that takes care of the radial loading of your gate, which makes it a whole lot easier to swing. And that concludes this portion of it, and you'll see more about this in, in later videos. Thank you.